Hello everybody, welcome back to the Weeb Family Basement. We are the Weeb Family. We're probably a lot like your family, except we all read manga together, which your family doesn't. <laughs> not cool. space. So, we're back again. It's the end of February. Gamers. The month of love. The shortest month of the year. Is it? Yeah, 28 days. Oh. Don't they teach you that 29. in school? That's leap years. Oh. Even if it was 29, it's still the shortest still month. Still the shortest. <laughs> Anyway, you got that COVID cough? No! You're going to so, get demonetized. Oh, yeah. We got to call it the Big C. The Big C. You'll Isn't get that canceled. cancer? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so we're back again with another end of the month uh, manga haul. And Mommy Weeb has graciously decided to be in front of the camera for the hauls. Force her to be in front of the camera? I don't force any of y'all to do anything. Oh, my God. Now the, co now the <laughs> comments are going to be like, free the Weeb family. They're going to cancel fine. you on Twitter. We're not on Twitter. We're not on Twitter. But They're we are on Instagram, you. so follow us at Meet the Weed Family. Anyway, before people start commenting, video starts here. This is our February uh, manga haul. And uh, as a reminder, some people just like to see the books. They don't want to hear us ramble. If so, check the description. I've got a, a timestamp. You can click, see a still shot of what we have. You don't have to hear us ramble. But I hope that you stay with us, because I think we have some good banter. Um, so with that, we'll go ahead and get started. And first of all, I want to say we done good. Like, we didn't we say last month that we didn't want to have as many last time? Because look. You still took quite a few flowers. Well, hold on a second. So, There's for, hold on. Let, let me, let me, let me, let me Yes, finish. explain yourself. Explain yourself. Okay. It's, it's, it's not as good as saying sorry. Thank you for the opportunity to let me explain. <laughs> so, okay, as cool as it is to buy, what do we have, like over 70 manga last month? That's cool. Don't don't get me wrong. But A, it breaks the bank and we have to be responsible and do things like save for retirement. But like our reading pile just backs up. I think we have huge TBR uh, stacks. Which is surprising so, for me. Yeah, because you read pretty quick. It's not surprising. It's mostly me. Mob Psycho, not going to lie. Anyway. Oh, well, I have some others. But. Anyway, so we we tried to make it a goal that we weren't going to buy as much this month. But and we still. were, no, we were successful. We, we bought less. I think this is comparable to our November haul. Which is more uh, Last standard. month, yeah. Now, I think I've said, like, every video that this is way more than we usually buy. And I think that's just a lie at this point. <laughs> I think this is like the new baseline here. So. Uh, that's... Only because you have no self-control. I have no self-control you... and I'm on Instagram where so many people recommend so many books. Maybe we need to ban you from using Instagram ban like a you child. From... You limit I don't my do screen anything time? bad on Instagram. You don't get impulse purchases from Instagram? I don't. Anyway. I so her one purchase took her, what, like a year to decide to get it? Oh, yeah, that's true. So... <laughs> Two years. Two years. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Again, follow us on Instagram at Meet the Weeb Family. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, Video starts at three minutes. Anyway. Uh, all right. Uh, mommy, why don't you uh, take it away? Take what what do you want to start with? Start, start a stack. Wait, start. I, think it, I think you wanted to start with a thing on the left there. Oh, yes. Yes. This is not a manga. It is technically a manga. Is it though? Yeah, it's, it's not a standard manga. What it's not you a. Think of. It's not a Tonko Bond. There you go. So okay. So here we are. We got Gunsmith Cats Bean Bandit issue, Bean. issue seven of nine. Okay, so so just number seven. A quick history lesson: When manga started coming over to America in the late nineties, um, Dark Horse did a lot of their the publication for that, and they actually printed them in the American comic format. As a matter of fact, Mommy has most of her Blade of the Immortal in the single issue. Well, I guess it's really about half. Well, because they stopped. They stopped halfway and they went to the exclusive yeah, Tonka Bond format. That's but, a lot of my manga is like that. It starts one way and then yeah. stops. <laughs> so, um, now the reason why I got this, because I actually have the full set of Gunsmith Cats. It's right behind you. Um, on Instagram, they like to do these like photo challenges where you have different prompts and stuff like that. And I'm actually hosting a challenge next month, the March Manly Manga Challenge. March Manly Manga. And one of the prompts is sexy machines. And is anything sexier than an old-timey American muscle car? 
I don't think so. Yes. So I needed a cover with Rally Vincent's badass uh, Boss 429 uh, Mustang. How much was it? How much was it? I don't know, like five dollars. Oh, oh. standard price for a car. It was like, well, I mean, I think the shipping was also like, so I think it was like ten dollars out the door. But oh, that's okay. Like, yeah, not that bad. I was so, expecting it to be more because that's yeah. probably pretty rare. So I bought but that. But nobody wants it. Yeah, I bought it just for the cover for a photo op because I'm a terrible person. Mm. So mm. anyway, okay, start with the stack, and daughter can stop petting me, dismissingly. And speaking of daughter books, daughter books. Hi. We got kinch- Kitchen, and I almost said Kinchin, but I didn't. <laughs> kitchen Princess Omnibus 1. Yes. yes. So uh, this was... I a store. Well, we were at a bookstore the other day, and you saw it, and you thought it looked cute. And you had said, don't buy me any manga this month, other than your monthly titles. Yeah. But I did a big write stuff order, and I was like 5 or $10 short from getting free shipping. So you just threw so I just threw that on there to get the free shipping. Well, shopping. and isn't this a creator that she particularly likes? I don't no, think so. No, the art's just similar. Just similar art style. What does that say? Miyuki uh, Kobayashi? Yeah. I've never even heard of her. Not yeah. Sumi on- Ando? Oh, I guess it's got a different writer and artist. Yeah, uh, it has two. Artists. Okay. That's uncommon, but... I have not heard it of either of those. It says manga by, story by, so I don't know what the difference is on that. The manga's probably, probably like the, the art. art. Yeah. All right. If I had to guess. So, anyway... Like, any uh, comments? Have you read it yet? No. No? All right. Well, she's been busy reading... Well, she started reading uh, Full Moon O Sagashite. That's right. And then Which she, is a similar drawing style. Yeah. And then she checked out Vampire Nights from your well, school's I've also library. been reading that at school, though. I haven't been reading okay. that at home. But then you've also been reading Chobits. Yeah. And then Chobits. last night I was reading Beastars. Yeah. So... Mm, I guess you're sure. reading a lot of things at once. Yeah. Yep, I do that. Right. This is... I have not read this one yet. Well, I just bought it last night. Yeah. Kaguya so. Sama Love is War Volume 9. Yep. So. Which, those volumes are kind of hard to find. That's weird. At first, popular. how popular it is, yeah. But that maybe that's why it's hard to find because when it comes in, people are getting maybe. it immediately. Well, so. people are too busy, like, or they're too busy printing Demon Slayer or Jujutsu Kaisen, which we'll talk about in a second, yeah. to put for Viz to put their money behind print runs of that. So, yes, I have not had an opportunity to read this one. I've read yeah. everything up to this point. Again, I kind of wish it was a little faster paced with their relationship, but other than that, it's a good, good story. You're liking it better than you yeah. were last time we spoke about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's good. Okay. So next we have Chainsaw so. Man 3, Volume 3. Yep. Have you read this one yet? Oh, yeah. I read it like as pretty much as soon as we got it. Okay. Um, it was so good. It was so good. I am really loving uh, Tatsuki uh, Fujimoto. Um, We're going to talk about him again later on in this video. Um, But Chainsaw Man just continues to be so much fun. Like, it's mindless entertainment. I I don't think I could do much literary analysis on it, but it's fun. Mm -hmm. I can't say anything else without spoiling it. And grossing you guys out. Spoiling it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next we have Baruto, Naruto, Next Generations, Volume 10. Mm Mm-hmm. This is being bought for me. I have Mom, you have a controversial opinion of actually liking it. Well, the volumes that I've read are good. I've only read, like, maybe the first three. Mm. Then why do you have volume ten? To continue to get it for when I'm ready to read it. Let me put it this way. <sighs> we bought Naruto forever, and I didn't read it until I had, like, a stack of 40 to maybe. read it. Yeah. And what? so... Reading Naruto, where I had a stack of 40, where I just... Oh, it was going through it quickly, better. It made the story go really well, and I do not have the the torturous uh, memories that people have of watching the anime, of all the filler. So, when people talk about all the filler nonsense, I have no idea what anybody's talking about, because I've not watched the uh, anime. Why are you watching it, like, the other day? Well, there was one... Well, maybe Boruto, but not Naruto. But, I know... Part of Boruto's problem is it has filler arcs, not filler episodes, but filler arcs. Well, isn't it like the angry. first 12 episodes filler? Because Something it wasn't, like yeah. And I have no idea, and I'm not watching it, but what I've read of the manga has been very good. So I'm just like, I'm just going to wait till I get a bunch of them and, and read it when need I feel to like read it. Naruto. Yeah. Well, what was it? We got. We started getting Naruto before Daughter was even. We got. Seen. We started. We started. No, even better. We started reading Naruto before we were even married. 
Yeah. That's and we've true. been married, what, this will be 15 years? And I didn't finish reading it until daughter was. In sixth grade? Something like that. Yeah. So. Uh, next we have Comey Can't Communicate 11, Volume 11. I've read this, it is adorable. I am finding the whole series to be pretty adorable. Um, I think it's pretty universally I think acclaimed online. Dad is finding it not as adorable anymore. I, it's not that you I was actually I was part. actually talking to someone about this on Instagram. So I think I st stopped reading like around volume six, and a lot of people are saying that that is kind of a low point in the story. And I think if you if you've been you know a long time listener of this channel, you know a long time is in two months. Um, you will know that my, my, my reading stack is so big. I just, I'm finding less and less patience for something to get good. It's got to be good. Hit the ground running and going because I just have so much other stuff well, to read. Well, and I think the difference is, is I can relate to this on a level that you can't. Actually, you it kind of makes me mad. extroverted. I'm not very extroverted. but ah, I'm actually more, more yeah. extroverted than I and daughter. So. Yes. It, sometimes it makes me mad when I read it because I'm like, this is so mommy and daughter and it just makes me mad. But actually, let's stick with the theme of not waiting for something to get good. Let's talk about my biggest heartbreak purchase of the month. Jujutsu Kaisen. No, like the martial arts. Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen. Kaisen. Yes. One. Number one. Which, okay. So let me set the stage here. Everyone on Instagram just about loves this book. It's so many people's, like, number one manga that I see on Instagram. Look, that's totally cool. This did not do it for me at all. And what's funny is I was trying to power through it, right? Like, I was trying to give it a solid chance. Uh, solid chance of all. And I remember I was reading it, having trouble with it. And then uh, mom... You, you stopped to explain it to me. No, yeah, mom rolled... Because I, I usually do my reading in bed. Mom rolled over to me and was like, what's this even about? And I tried explaining it like, well, it's kind of about this guy who um, he's really good at sports because he's the typical shonen prodigy and uh, he eats a cursed finger and now he can go demon super saiyan. And I was like, he goes to this academy of other people and there's so many demons that there's a whole secret society. And I was like, this is dumb. This is everything we criticized about Demon Slayer and none of the charm of chainsaw man or uh black torch and yeah as you explained it to me i was like ah oh, that does not interest and me i and all. i explained it more fluently i remember stammering over my words trying to think about it and then like halfway through i was like this is stupid why am i this reading makes, this this makes me think of when you're listening to that show last night and they're like they realized halfway through about the potato head thing oh, like yeah. explaining it but so like <laughs> after the explanation with mom of what the story was about. I was like, this is dumb. And I put it away. And this is in my official pile of shame, which I, yeah, put pile it over there. Pile of shame. Pile of shame. That is going to be leaving the collection. I'm going to do a giveaway over on uh, Instagram. Isn't it kind of so. sad that you give away all the bad books? Like, hey, I want well, you no, to Well, no, no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. It's yeah. not that it's bad. It's that it's not interesting to us to read. Yeah, I will say the last giveaway I did was Demon Slayer Volume 1 and 2 and Dead Man Wonderland Volume 1. Yeah, I didn't like those books, but the person I gave them to was ecstatic yeah. about getting them. Mm -hmm. This time around, the giveaway is going to be Jujutsu Kaisen 1 and Torture Princess. And I think Torture Princess is the one people are not going to be happy <laughs> about getting. Because I think I did a post about Torture Princess the other day, and as I was posting, I'm like, this is dumb. I'm never going to read this again. And what surprised me real quick is that when I posted that on Instagram, everyone was like, oh yeah, that book was horrible. <laughs> It's probably the most universally hated book I've seen on Instagram in a while. All right. Do you want the most universally hated manga? You, but you get Jujutsu Kaisen But you well. get Jujutsu Kaisen you, with it. You got to take both of them. It's a package <laughs> deal. No splitsies. Oh, yeah. Let's keep it going. We got Next, we have three volumes. We yes. have, was it, Yuki-chan? The, the Disappearance of, of Nagato, Nagato Yuki-chan. Yuki we watched the anime. You should know the name. The, the, to be Reading fair, it sideways the, is kind of hard when I hadn't looked at the cover before. Also, so, I don't one, think it's a word for word. Same. That's almost exactly the same. Anyway. Two and three. And I'm going to give a big shout out to Maeve Ever Reading on Instagram. She's also on YouTube. I'm going to put a link to her channel in the description. Definitely go check her out. She actually did an unhaul uh, video. Hmm. 
So these were all the books she was getting rid of out of her collection. And I really appreciate Haruhi. I don't know if I want to go so far and say that I love it. I think it has a lot of good themes. And I loved the Yuki-chan spinoff. Anime. I, I'm not a huge fan of Haruhi, but I like the, U, the Yuki-chan yes. anime. Okay. So um, I got this and one other book we'll talk about. And um, Are these all the volumes or are there more? I don't know, to be honest with you. Well, I, I just saw that she was getting rid of them and I asked her, well, hey, how much do you want for those? Do you know And why? for those four, because she didn't want them anymore. There are times you just don't want stuff anymore. Like with Jujutsu Kaisen. Some people love it, some people don't. That's where that proverb, one man's trash is another man's treasure comes from. There you go. It's so common they have a proverb about it, daughter. Any... She's questioning. That face is questioning. <laughs> no, it's me being annoyed. Anyway, um... She gave me a great deal for manga for 20 bucks with shipping. Like, not ex extra shipping. 20 bucks for four manga ship. That was just too good of a deal. I couldn't pass it up. So, big shout out to Maeve. I really appreciate it. Go check out her channel. Link below. Link below. Now we're going to talk about a manga that's technically not even out yet. Technically. Really? Yes. So, so we have Street Dragon Ball Super Volume 12. Yeah. Actually, the next two are... Uh, Okay, here's the thing. We don't we're not a big enough channel to get advanced copies. So this is not one we of those. We will never be big enough. <laughs> no, you gotta keep hope alive. Come on now. Anyway. My only hope is to eventually get a vaccine. I don't think you can hope for much more than that. <laughs> anyway. So okay, so this doesn't we're recording this on the twenty seventh of February. This is slated to come out March second, which is the coming up Tuesday. Here's the thing. We don't get advanced copies. These big bookstores like Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, they don't give a damn about street dates. They get stock. They have to put it out on the floor to keep business moving. So whenever they get it, they put it out. So if you kind of go to your store and you know their stock pattern, our stores stock on Fridays, generally speaking. So if I go there on a Friday, I can typically get the next week's uh, releases, which is what happened here with Dragon Ball Super Volume 12 not read yet so i'm so excited that's going back upstairs as soon as it's if over. eagle eye explore eagle eye observers will see vegeta's outfit and already know that there's some cool stuff happening with him that's all i'm going to say but you got to be eagle eye anyways so the next book that's eagle before fang. You gotta be eagle fang eagle fang karate the next book that is technically not out yet spy and family volume four mm -hmm. i have read it even already and it is very good. Doggy. It's a... Uh, is that a Russian spy dog? He kind of looks like... No, he's American because he has the bow tie. Well, I don't Or whatever, that. Western. But anyways, we have our... Put your finger down. It's giving a weird shadow. Yeah, it kind of is. Sorry. Anyways, we have our spy family where you have daddy spy, mommy assassin, daughter... Esper. 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 And dog. Also Esper. I wasn't going to reveal that. Oh, sorry. Because it's spoilers. Thanks a lot. Sorry. But I guess as soon as they introduce the dog, they immediately show that he is has that abilities. It happens in the first five minutes. The dog also has abilities. And the whole deal is, is the girl, the little girl, did a good job at school in the last volume, and they wanted to reward her by getting her a dog. And she happens to come across a special dog. And um, most of the stories about that, there's a few little um, side stories at the end. Um but no matter what, it's super adorable, and I love it, and it's totally cute. So, recommended reading. So good. I read it all last night super fast. All right, so these next two. We have... Actually, is there a way we can put those to the side for a second? I want to come back to those, because I think it'll set up better. I'll put them over here, because okay. I'll forget if I don't. Oh, yeah, excellent. All right. Now we have... Several volumes that all go together. We have An Incurable Case of Love, Volume 2. So there's something I'm just going to line down. Three, four, five, and six. And it's exactly what you think it would be. It is a shoujo of a girl falling in love with the doctor dude. There's not a lot of spice. Not a lot of spice, not a lot of twists Flavor. and turns. I mean, it's your, if you've read a shoujo, it's like a but shoujo. But there's schmexy, right? There is a little bit of adult time. 
in this book. Um, but it's, um, what is the word I was using for uh, Bridgerton? It is uh, housewife porn. It's not excessive, but there is. It's housewife fan service. I, it's, I, it's in that genre. Okay. So, I mean, it's good. It's light reading that you can read through really fast if you just like romance stuff and shoujo stuff. It's not anything. Which you do. Which I do. I do. I like it. It's nothing spectacular, but it's. I thought you were saying, you were saying previously it wasn't that good. It wasn't. It's not. She had to give it a couple of volumes to get good. I wouldn't even. Look. If you had. If I had to put it on a scale, it's not very high up there. But it's something to read when you're like, I want to read through something fast, easy, kind of fun, kind of cute. It's. It's not amazing. You, it's that random fluff fan fiction that you read on a Friday night. I guess. Um, like, a very I, specific example. Like, I don't know. So, I mean, it's good. It's not amazing. If you like shoujo, it's standard, <laughs> serviceable shoujo. You like it. You didn't love it. Yeah, like, okay. So when you were disappointed with that, uh, the Jujutsu oh, Kaisen, mm-hmm. right? You can't say it's curse name. Um... <laughs> Ugh. Part of the reason you were saying you didn't like it is because it's like every other demon slaying manga out there. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is like every other romance shoujo out there. Mm-hmm. There's there's nothing spectacular about it, but I can blast through things and be fine with it and not. Mm-hmm. Whereas you take longer to read, so you're like, I'm not going to waste my time. So mm-hmm. if you take a long time to read something, maybe this isn't your book because it's not spectacular. But if you can read something quickly and just get through it, it's fine. Another book that is not technically out yet. Uh, But I have not read it yet, but I am excited to read. Snow White with the Red Hair, Volume 12. Yeah. Can you do me a favor real quick? Can you kind of turn that sideways towards the camera, like, so that it's looking at the pages? If if that makes sense. Yeah, but turn it, like, from the top down view. Yeah, like that, like that. Okay. If anyone in the... Can you, like, hold it up so it's not being supported by the books? This isn't showing it really well, but I want to know in the comments if you guys have seen this lately. I don't know what's happening at the Viz printers, but so many of these Viz titles are, like, wavy. Like, I can see it. It's wavy. It's wavy enough. Like, they're not perfectly straight. And I think it's... Oh, I see. It's kind of in the middle. Yeah. Like... It's, you're not gonna see. You're not gonna see it on camera. Yeah, but like, let me know if you've been seeing this because I've seen this with a bunch of different Viz titles, and I don't know what's going on at their printer. I well, wonder if it's a humidity. We issue We were talking or... about it when you, if you laid instead of upright, mm-hmm. if you laid them all flat over time, they would probably flatten out. But mm-hmm. when they're they're upright or something like that, there is a slight wave in yeah. the center. I, if anyone else has been seeing that, I'd love to know. It probably just be because our bookstore usually tends to prop up the no, books no. Really bad. No, this, this is that's a brand new book. It hasn't been it sitting, hasn't been out sitting there. on the shelf. Yeah. I guess, but like I, I see it at our bookstores all the time. They pop up the books. Really yes, bad. The, all bookstores are horrible like that. But anyway, looking forward to reading this. So, so this is the other book that I got from Maeve Ever Reading. Um, My the Psychic Girl Perfect Collection. Yes. Now you know this one's old school because that is the old Viz printing. You can also just tell by can... the art style. Well, it's not printing. Yeah. This printing is old. You can tell the printing is old. But um, I like random sci-fi stuff. You know, I, I mostly wanted the um, the Yuki Chan books, and then I just asked her about this one too. So I don't know. I don't know what it's about. I like random sci-fi stuff. We'll see. Those pages are actually super oh, white for how old they are. That pretty is. white. Yeah. Oh, and it's not. It's printed. Yeah, it's left or right. Left or right. Yeah. So you can like, tell because it's going to be. You can maybe just start a new stack, yeah. since that's a different size format. Move some stuff. Group this to the front since it's the most. Yeah. Have you read this one yet? Nope. I haven't even read the previous volume. Nah. I'm, I'm so terrible. How do you say this again? It's Kakegurui Twin. Kakegurui Twin 7. Yep. This was a uh, gap filler one that um, I've been trying. The series that I've kind of started and haven't finished, like getting them all. I've been trying to go back and fill the gaps. So this was mostly a gap fill purchase. Mm-hmm. I do plan on reading it. Um, it can be a little bit of a tough read because when they start, exp- it, it's got the professor syndrome that you kind of talk about where they go into this whole lecture on whatever. And in their case, it's typically about 
casino gaming and probabilities, which I actually love. I'm a math major. Yeah. But it can be dense to read. So yeah. I've yeah. kind of, it's like what you're saying with the incurable case of love. Sometimes you just want lighter, fluffier stuff that you can churn through. Mm. And that's just been a little thicker. This was surprisingly really good, and I got through this really fast. Yes. We have three volumes of Something's Wrong With Us. Yeah, which was actually something I picked out. So one... From the granny. Two and three. And I had, I had also seen it, but it hadn't been something that I had picked up. You were the one who picked this up. Right, because it's a revenge story. It is a revenge story. You love revenge stories. and uh, But it's also... I think in that housewife genre of well, housewife it, revenge. It's the sleeping with the enemy variant yeah. of the uh, revenge narrative. So the basis of the story, or the basic plot is the the woman, when she was a young girl, her mother had a job at a traditional Japanese sweet shop. And um, the owner of the sweet shop was murdered. Mm-hmm. And uh, the young boy, who was the son of the owner blamed the girl's mother. mother. Right. So now she's an adult and she it's traumatic to her past. Um, and so she has not been able to get past that her mother was accused of murder, which she does not believe at all. Mm-hmm. And so she happens to run into this boy as an adult. He doesn't recognize her. And they, he, they get married. They, well, he randomly proposes to her. Right. And she accepts. Why? And I, I'm it's not gonna, of, I'm not going to explain why because that's part of the intrigue of why they. Let's just say it's more of a business decision than it is. A yeah, it is decision. more of a business yeah. decision. But it's super interesting. There, it's actually it's kind this of a mystery. Kinda... It's a mystery because there's two mysteries going on in this book, which is really fun. You have the mystery of did the mother actually kill the owner of the shop? Which that's the girl believe woman believes that her mother didn't do that, and she's trying to prove that. And then there's the mystery of the boy and his family, man and his family, don't know who this woman is. So it's like, will they find out when they will find out that she was this girl mm-hmm. that was this the daughter of this about, like a story for my one friend. Yeah, maybe. But it's it's really good. I got through these all really fast. Not because it's light fluff, but because you keep turning the pages and you want to know what's going to happen next. And there's still two more volumes out. I need to... Oh, know. really? Yeah. I'm excited because those are good. Mm-hmm. So... Okay. And I've read one. volume one. I just haven't read Yes, two definitely read the other two. Those are really good. So the next one. Next one is Fire, Fire Punch, Punch Volume 8. And that's yours. Yeah, reading so all this. I, this past month I read all of Fire Punch because it's Tatsuki Fujimoto, the same uh, manga artist, author that does uh, Chainsaw Man. This was his first work. Um I really enjoyed the first four volumes. The last four volumes are trippy and very experimental and cutting edge, avant-garde, which I've often... Visually or storytelling? Storytelling. Mm -hmm. Um, The whole thing's kind of experimental from an art standpoint. Uh, Reminds me a lot of um, uh, Hiroaki Samura, to be honest with Mm -hmm. you. And his art style on that in uh, Chainsaw Man, you wouldn't realize they're the same person. Um, without really like he's much more detailed in this than he is in Chainsaw Man. Yes, he is. Which I think he probably has to crank out Chainsaw Man faster because it's in Weekly Shonen Jump, if mm-hmm. I recall correctly. So. But I can see where you would say it's a Samura look. Yeah. Um. Very detailed. Lots of heavy pencils. But also like sketching. sketchy quality. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, lots of ash marks mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Um. Like I said, it started off really strong. I'm not even going to say I didn't like it, but... Well, you were loving it with those first four bottles. It just takes a strange turn in the middle, so... Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway. I enjoyed it. I would still recommend it, Mm -hmm. but just realize that it's... The second half is quite a bit different. Uh, Next is Blue Flag, Volume 6. I've already read this. It was already very good. Apparently, you were saying that people were saying it was a tearjerker. Yes. Which, overall, this story is very tearjerkery, but this volume did not have the tearjerking for me in this particular volume. But it was still really good. I still really liked it. Mm-hmm. I still recommend this book to anyone who likes romance, whether you like BL, Yuri, or just standard 
Cis romance. Yeah, cis, there you go, cis romance. I, well, they don't, they don't have a... I don't know. I'm just making something I up. Don't, I don't know. So, anyways, if you like romance, very I didn't good. want to say normal because I didn't want to get Yeah, canceled. I didn't want to... Well, I didn't want to say normal because you've got the three... Di- I don't know. Anyways. Yes, there's nothing abnormal about LGBT. That's not what we're saying. Yeah, not at all. That's what I was trying the to say. The English about. language hasn't caught up. Give us a break. <laughs> anyways, highly recommend it if you like any kind of romance. So... Yep. Which, that was sitting on my, I had to uh, put it aside for a while because of our upcoming video yep. um, for, for, Chobits. For, for Chobits. And I was like... Probably safe to say we're going to record it. Right, I didn't know if we wanted to say yeah. Anyways, I, I had to read uh, three omnibus volumes of Chobits before I could get to this. And I was like... Which was like six taco boxes. Yeah, and so yeah. I was like, ah, God, I got to get through Chobits so I can read this. <laughs> And once I finally got through, I was like, "Yay!" Yeah, you can you can you put that on top of the other one, the one that's coming out next. Put what on top of what? On Gantz over there. Oh, you want to talk about this later? Yeah. All right. We'll talk about this. Here's some more used books I purchased. So volumes one, two, and three of of Tono Guy's Secret. Secret. We have Secret One, Secret Two, Secret Three. I bought these used off eBay. They're a little bit rough. They're not like quite library copy, but they're, they're far from perfect. Oh, they do have some beat marks on here, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I got these because I really enjoy Doubt. I'm trying to get Judge, but it seems like Thanos snapped and <laughs> may disappear all of Volume 3 of Only Judge. Volume 3. It's seriously only Volume 3. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, Secret is his newest one published in English. It's not very new itself, but it's oh, his newest, newest one? It's his newest one. Yeah, oh, I see. It's been a while since he's done some work, but anyway, I got those off eBay, slightly higher than cover price. His stuff is starting to go fast, so I just wanted to get it before I couldn't find it anymore. And you haven't read these ones yet? Nope. Mm. So. We got one, two, and three. Yep. You want to talk about a cutesy one real quick? Yeah, but a cutesy one I haven't read. Yep. So, The Apothecary Diaries, Volume 2. It is something that I... Uh, but didn't you say it was like weirdly dark yet cutesy? It's... Okay, so I read volume one. Mm-hmm. And it's... Ostensibly, it's about this girl named Mao Mao who... Mao Mao. Well, That's a good it, name. Well, it's in feudal China, right? So they have Chinese names. Um, it's and it's Final done by Fantasy. Square. You know, Final Fantasy. I know. They have their own manga publishing thing. I've told you this before. Anyway. Um, <laughs> this. Anyway... Uh, it's about, she's an apothecary. That's not her on the cover, by the way. It's not? Isn't I don't, that I don't the think so. on the first one, too? I don't think so. Oh, right. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't read this one. I think that's, anyway, the main girl, Mau Mau, <sighs> she's a uh, apothecary for all these concubines. And the reason why it's dark, even though it's a cutesy kind of anime and it's kind of like manga version of Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, is that it's super dark in that, like, all these girls are, like, the property of the emperor, and like that's he, what a concubine is i know but like it's all cutesy and stuff but it's like okay the emperor doesn't care about you tonight he wants to sleep with this other girl and he's tired of this girl so he's giving her away like she's a chair like she's jujutsu Aww. kaisen he's giving this girl away to his like loyal general and i'm just like why do so many girls like it because no, well, no no it's not about liking it you're well, saying like, like I like the story, not liking uh, the concubines. Really like, well, because I see so many people say that they won't read Blade of the Immortal because of the misogyny, and I'm like, criticize Blade of the Immortal all you want to, but even though there's hardcore rape, almost all the characters acknowledge that rape is a bad thing. Yes, it's drawn graphic. This is drawn cutesy, but they're literally giving away girls, and everyone's cool with it. Like this is just business as normal. Which I understand that's how it was in the time I, period. I, I want to talk. I haven't read this. That makes that actually makes me want to read it more because I want to mm. look at it and say, what, what of it is idealizing that time period? What mm. of it is like this is just the way it is, and this is the story that I'm writing that's from that time period. So I do have volume one upstairs. This is going to go back upstairs, and I'm going to read it it's in my on my stack of things. I think you'll read. like it. I'm just saying, like to me, with the background of how they're treating women just makes me raise an eyebrow when I see people raving about this but criticizing Blade of the Immortal. Well, the people you, are critical do you know time. if... This looks like a female name, Natsu. 
I'm pretty sure it's a woman writer. Or artist, ha- so it Hyuga? makes Hyuga? Hyuga? It makes it... Maybe it's one of those things where it's acceptable for a woman to write it, but not acceptable for a man Well, I think that it. might... There might be a difference in telling a story from a, a woman's point of view of being bought and sold compared to a man's point of view of raping women. Mm. So... Look, and I'm not defending Blade of the Immortal. Terrible stuff happens to the women in that story. Well, the only the only uh, upside to that is typically the people who did terrible things in Blade of the Immortal had terrible things happen to them back. Yeah, so. Manji's coming to fucking kill yeah, them. Ain't no one coming to kill the Emperor. The, yeah, so I mean, there is a little... But then again, it's more realistic that absolutely nothing would happen to the well, Emperor. Well, of course. Because so. that's what happens in real life. Yeah. Because men suck. <laughs> anyway. Oh, oof. no. Oh, no. Move, moving on. Anyways, moving on. You're about to get canceled, man. Uh, this is also two volumes. Yep. What this is, is a gin. A gin. Volume, volume one. Two. And Let me guess, two. you haven't read it yet. I, I feel not. like I need to make some space here. I have not okay. read it. And to be honest, the only reason why I bought it, they probably can't see this because it's too small on camera, but that is by uh, Suina Mura. Same author as High Rise Invasion. That's right. And I, because of High Rise Invasion, I do kind of want to take, I mean, obviously I'm not a huge fan of that genre, but it does make me want to kind of just look at it and see what it is. I'm, I'm definitely not a monster person for the most part, and it looks like they're mon- this is a monster theme, so. Yeah, I think it's horror. I can say I, I'm definitely not a horror yeah. fan, so yeah. I don't know if I'll go very far into reading it, but it's something I'd want to look at in a little bit after I get through my stack of things. Mm-hmm. So. Which will be never because daughters just keep buying things and because you keep buying flyers. Oh my gosh! You keep buying. No, flyers. what was it? The daughter said I could do five flyers. Yeah, but I, I said we counted out how said, many flyers. But I said five was pushing it. Look, there's not even five there because some of those don't count. Secret doesn't count because I was already planning on getting that. Does it though? Yeah, it doesn't count. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, this is definitely a flyer. Okay, this was definitely Let's a flyer. Get this video over with. <laughs> this is definitely a flyer. 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 This is Gigant. Gigant. One and two okay. and three, four. Yeah. So, so okay. This is the best manga I've read in forever. And you just like it because it follows a porn star. Yeah, like this is peak manga. Like I heard this described by main. <laughs> like first of all, this is all mainly manga's fault on Instagram. I'm throwing him under the bus. This mm-hmm. is happening. Anyway. He posted about this and was just saying it was peak manga. And he describes it as this porn star who can grow huge and fight monsters and giant robots and stuff. And I'm like, okay, I got to check this out. This is crazy. I read it and it's absolutely awesome. Like, this is like the best thing I've read in so long. Probably since High Rise Invasion. I'm sorry. If I ever get through everything, I might. You are going to hate this. You are going to hate this. Really? Well, first of all. It has a porn star who's 24 having adult relations with a 17-year-old high yeah, school Yeah, that's kid. not okay. That's look, not okay. Look, I'm the first one to admit that it's not okay, but it's actually deeper than you think it is because she... Is it, though? Yes, because she has been in a history of a. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I, this is a little hilarious because I feel like... It's a weird reversal of defending dudes dating young girls, but now we're defending defending. No, I, first I of all, I'm know. not de- I'm not defending it on the legal merits. What they're doing <laughs> is probably illegal, and some people should probably go straight to jail. <laughs> what I'm saying is, narrative from a literary analysis, it actually makes perfect sense. And what's more beautiful to me is, you know, beautiful. Yes, you know that their romance is doomed to failure. Like, uh, I think if you happen to read it, you will see all the signs of first love and problems with relationships. And you're like, this is going to end badly. But you reminisce of like, oh, I've been in that relationship uh, before. I mean, maybe. Not with Actually, a porn star, obviously. What I was, when you, when you tell me that uh, she grows gigantic, I think of the old, like, 1950s movies of the, mm. the, the gigantic woman or whatever. Mm. And I just see it how... Uh, you know, her clothes grow with her, but apparently her clothes don't grow with yeah, her. Yeah, there's, uh, there's tons of nudity in this book. Yeah, so I don't know. I'll put this one over yeah. here. We'll stack it up there. But Sorry, and, and let, then let's go to that other bottle. I loved Gigant so much. So much. That I bought all of Inuyashiki 
though volumes one through nine haven't arrived yet in the mail because I ordered them from so my stuff. So this is just ten. This is just ten, which is the last volume by the same author. Uh, is it Miura Oku? So is this this is newer? Is this newer? Or yeah, is that's this? his. Gigant is his newest this work. This is newer. Okay. Inuyashiki's his next oldest work. Okay. And then Gantz, I think, is his next one. Which go ahead and bring up Gantz. There's, I don't have anything to say about Inuyashiki. <sighs> There, well, you haven't read it, which yeah, you have also not read these because these are. I just got them. Still wrapped in plastic. Yeah, I liked Gigant so much that I'm getting all of Oku's. I just biography. that's a lot to start getting all right away when you haven't even read any I of other stuff. I'm terrible. See, that's why you come to our videos for the lectures. <sighs> for the size and Let's the head just, shakes. Just get this video over with already. You're. We always still have some volumes to go. It's you're, fine. You have a problem, Dad. You have a problem. Anyway. It's, it's alright. We're okay. It's fine. He has a problem. You have a problem. You have a problem. What problem do I have? Anyway. Okay. Next is Tropic of the Sea, and I didn't even know you got this one. What yeah. is this? That is, I don't know what it's about, but it's by um, uh, the guy that you guys don't like. Uh, the perfect blue guy. Yeah. Why, uh, why am I drawing the? Oh, Satoshi Khan. It's right there. I, right there. Yeah. I perfect was, blue was not good. I did not like perfect blue. But I loved Opus, which I read last month, and I liked it so much. I wanted to get his other books. And so that's actually the next one too. So Tropic of the Sea is a book that he did. Oh, I do remember you talking. I remember talking about this yeah. one. What's interesting about the next one, uh, Sarah. Some random number wings. Seraph two six 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 one three 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 six wings. Yes. What's interesting about that one is that it's co-done with Mamoru Oshii. If you don't recognize that name, have you heard of an anime movie called The Ghost in the Shell? Hmm. He directed that movie. So one of the most pivotal anime directors of all time worked with another pivotal anime director. Didn't you say something time. about this being unfinished? Yes. Oh, yeah. this is Tropic unfinished. of the Sea is the only manga that he finished in his lifetime. So hmm. Coach Satoshi Kon has passed away, sadly. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. So they're basically like, oh, you got some half-finished stuff? We'll take it. He's such a popular, uh, prolific <laughs> director that people published his work. Yeah. I just think that's funny. Uh, oh, only half-finished? We'll take it. To be fair, Opus had an ending. It just wasn't very satisfying. Hmm. Yeah. But that's a long story. All right, so then we have Mermaid Saga Volume 2. Yep, the Collector's Edition Volume yeah, 2. Yeah, there's not much to say about this except I haven't, I want to reread read it, but I haven't reread yeah, the we've first read, or second Yeah, we've volume. read Mermaid before. Yeah. And we've owned the anime, we've seen it a couple of times. And I want to reread it because yeah. it's in these nice, awesome volumes, but I just, I haven't had time to reread it yet. Yeah. There's not really much to say. <laughs> and now we have... This was a Valentine's book. Pride and Prejudice. It is my favorite novel. Mm. Um, so, but it's a manga version. It's the manga version. It looks uh, interesting. Again, I, I have that Rose of Versailles art style. I, yeah, it does have the Rose of Versailles art style, which, by the way, I have like two, three volumes. Two, two. Volumes, two volumes of Rose of Versailles still to read. So, like, these big volumes, I keep putting the omnibuses to the side, but I'll, like, blast through, like, incurable case of love. But you can still blast through that quickly. It just seems yeah, intimidating. It, it's like I was saying about watching a movie. You don't pull up movies because it just feels so big and long, but you'll watch a series that has like eight episodes. That next one, I got that through that in two days. Yeah, two so three yeah. days. Well, it's also a lot easier to read than Chobits Volume yeah. 3. Yep, 20th so. Anniversary Collector's Edition. So, yeah, nice hardbound, super Nice awesome. hardbound, super awesome paper book quality. Mark. You should push in the book. You, when, you, when you turn the pages, you're like, is, is this. Do I have two pages? No, nope, yeah. it's just one. It's nice, yeah. thick pages. Uh, it's okay. I don't really know what to say without spoiling it because, you know, it's the second to last one. Well, that and we're going to be having a whole video on show this. So, yeah. It I think is we'll good. Be fine with that one. We're getting to the end of everything. And yeah. last, I don't know if I can say it but least because I haven't read this one either. We have Vinland Saga, number one. Yep. And Another Valentine's Day gift to you. And, uh... I am not a huge Viking fan, but I'm a huge history fan, so I am interested in reading this, especially because most people say that it's pretty good. Again, I just, it's the nice hard back. back. Though, I don't know that it's page... I, don't, I haven't read it yet, so the pages don't feel as thick as in Chobits. So, I don't know. There you go. So, that is our haul. For and the that's month. all we got this month. So, 
Hopefully, I'm saying that, but, miss, but our video is 44 minutes long. It's fine. The people come along. People could have jumped to the end at any point. They don't have to watch the whole video. Yes. So thanks everyone for uh, sticking with us and listening to us ramble. Again, follow us on Instagram at Meet the Weeb Family. And with that, we'll uh, see you in a few days for our uh, show discussion. <laughs>